Um, one of the other things that, I, that astonished me um, and frightened me some is just how physical grief is. Um, at times when the pain is greatest, um, it's just, it's, it's like um, a deep going wound. Um, physical, I don't mean emotional, I mean just physical. It's like someone had reached down into my gut and my, down my throat and pulled things out. Um, and physical things triggered it, and physical things gave me comfort. Um, one, of the, one of the times I remember very distinctly of falling into a really deep kind of anguish just happened as I walked into our closet and I pulled a uh, sport coat off the rack and I brushed against one of Linda's coats and I just couldn't take it. And it threw me into a spin for a couple of days. Uh, physical contact. Um, on the other hand, the day she, the, the, the anniversary of her death, um, the first anniversary of her death, um, I went around the house and I couldn't hug her, so I touched everything that was hers. The pottery that we had bought together, the um, Afghan um, comforter that used to be on her bed, um, some of her clothing, I just needed to have something to touch. It's very physical. I also learned um, that grief, it's, it's, it's often said that um, misery loves company. Um, and I think that's probably true, but grief wants no company. Grief is an isolating thing, or it can be. So I would walk, I would sit in the park, and I would see people, families, you know, kids, and strollers, and parents, and strollers, and kids, and around, um, and um, young lovers walking hand in hand, and the like, and I saw all these connections, all these um, strands, bringing them together and I felt cut out of that, like someone sort of clipped the, me out of that, that loop. So I was isolated um, and grieving, and then I discovered here, I'm going to answer your question. Um, it was when people came and sat with me. Not when they came to do things for me, uh, but when they just were physically present. I found that to be the most comforting. Because that was, in some sense, it wasn't an intellectual need. I didn't need to know something. I just had to feel them there. It was a powerful kind of um, recognition of, for someone like myself, um, a professor who you know, spends a lot of time intellectualizing things, that it wasn't at all intellectual. It was very personal, but very physical.